quality accessories can take your smartphone to a whole nother level. So in this video, I'm gonna be talking about 10 must have smartphone accessories for every budget. Coming up. Hey, what's up guys, Sean here with Think Media TV. Help you go further, faster in media. And on this channel, we do tech gear reviews, audio reviews, and even smartphone accessory videos just like this one. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. And hey, at any point during this video, check out show notes and links in the description below. I'll list out all of these accessories plus anything else I forgot as well. Let's get into the video. The first accessory that you definitely need to have is a power bank. You know, when your battery gets low and you have nowhere to charge it, maybe you're at a convention or an event, they are essential. And my two favorites are by Aki. The first one is this 5000 mAh uh, little portable guy. I love this because it's nice and portable. Uh, it can charge your phone up and it's pretty simple. The second one that I really like is this 20,000 mAh power bank um, that has quick charge. And that's one of my favorite features from Aki. So you have two different USB chargers. One of them is actually gonna deliver more amperage to charge your devices faster. And so lots of ports, super solid power banks, uh, and worth checking out. Number two is a case, right? And this is a huge preference thing. Some people wanna get an OtterBox like my wife uses for just indestructible protection. Some people like to play life on the edge and they go no case at all. And actually, uh, I kinda go in the middle. And this case is called a Jet Tech, and I absolutely love it. Super simple, I'm on an iPhone 6S Plus here. And one kind of power accessory tip is I've added a pop socket as well. I found that now that we're in larger phones, this is absolutely a killer accessory to be able to um, do Instagram stories, Snapchat, as well as to be able to shoot video with a little bit of a stabler shot and to just use your phone without dropping it as you get into some of the larger phones. And the cool thing about this Jet Tech case it is it's only $8 US and the pop socket is only about $10 in the US and uh, you don't you can put this directly on your phone if you want and it's perfect and and it's a great great you know setup to keep your phone protected plus allow you to create smooth stable content Accessory number three are smartphone lenses. And I like this Aki Aura lens. This is a wide angle lens that pops on your phone pretty easy. And this is great because a lot of times the starting kind of angle and field of view of most smartphone cameras is pretty zoomed in. And so if you wanna get a wider shot, I love using a wide angle lens and also really like using these for uh, Facebook Live. And I actually have a whole video on this, so we'll link that up on the YouTube card in the description below. But sometimes, you know, if you're doing Facebook Live or any kind of live video, it's like really up in your face and you can get a wider shot, so that is really nice. The other kit that I like is actually this Cam Kicks kit. And this actually comes with wide angle, telephoto, uh, as well as um, macro, and a whole kit of lenses for I think right around $15 US. So you can check the current prices in the description. And so the smartphone lens kits are an awesome way to take your Instagram game, to take your photo game, and even video content from your smartphone up a level. Accessory number four is a smartphone tripod. Now, I think the best all around value out there is this Archon iPhone tripod mount. You can go up and down for Facebook Live, put it on a table, nice, good, uh, long legs, you know, bendable. You could bend them around a railing or things like that. And this comes all inclusive for under $20 US. Really easy to switch to widescreen. And so a super good and affordable solution for a tripod for your smartphone. The other recommendation that I would have is to use this Joby SLR combined with a Mi Photo um, Sidekick, either the regular one or the Plus version. This setup's a lot better than the other setup, but it also costs more. It's about you know 40 or 50 just for the Joby, and then the Sidekick's like another 35 or 40 dollars here in the U.S. And so one note there is that if you have a larger phone, like the Plus size or one of the newer Galaxies or something, there you want to make sure you get the Mi Photo Plus version. There's also the regular version that's going to fit smaller phones. And this kit is if you really plan on creating a lot of content. 
um, this might be worth investing in. Of course, I use this also for DSLR video, a lot of other content. And so I prefer this, but again, it's, it's a bigger investment. But either way, having a smartphone tripod is huge for creating Facebook Live content, getting steady shots for photos or videos, and is a great thing to throw in your bag as you travel or, or in your gear kit. Accessory number five is a microphone for your smartphone. And my go-to lapel mic is the iRig Mic Lav. Comes with a cool case. Um, always like to have this in my laptop bag, my travel bag, and just plug this right into the smartphone for doing Facebook Live um, videos especially. So hook that up and it sounds great and you can get good audio when wherever you are on the road. The other one that I like is the uh, Rode VideoMic Go. And this is nice because it's a little simpler and sounds phenomenal, has really great audio. And maybe you have more than one person on camera or maybe you wanna shoot some video content and someone, uh, you don't wanna mic them up. This is a great mic for um, shooting that kind of content. You know, you could uh, shoot it either way. And so the iRig is right around $50 US and the video mic uh, me is right around $60 US. And so either of those, a great solution so that you've got good audio coming out of your smartphone. Uh, for number six and number seven is both a wall charger and also a car charger, which is in my car right now, so we can throw a picture up of it. And in this case, I really like to have, uh, to level up my charger. So for number six, the wall charger, I love this Aki uh, three port wall charger. And one of the reasons is because it has the quick charge port. So I just, you know, I always want uh, devices to charge as fast as possible if they can draw the power. And so that is a great feature and you get three ports total, nice clean design. And so that is super solid. And then the same for number seven, the Aki car charger uh, is killer because you also have that quick charge port and you've got the two ports total. And so you never wanna be without power. What good's a smartphone without power, right? And so those are definitely some cool chargers to check out. Accessory number eight is smartphone lighting. And my uh, favorite accessory is the Loom Cube. Killer, one of the best mobile lights on the market, if not the best. Um, and this is a cool smartphone video creator kit uh, that goes along with it. And so uh, this light is one of the most versatile lights. We have a whole video that kind of goes in depth about all the different things you could do with it. Probably one of the best travel lights for even DSLR videography, as well as smartphone photos and videography, things like that. And actually, they just came out with a new model card called the Loom Lite, L-I-T-E. And it's actually gonna be a more affordable, a little lighter, meant for really mobile and for traveling. It's on Kickstarter right now, but depending on what time you're seeing this video, we'll put a link to the Loom Lite, and it's just a, a, a more affordable version of this. But this whole smartphone video kit, I think is pretty essential if you wanna be able to pump out really cool, you know, stable video. You can do some cool things to even um, stabilize this if you set it on a table or whatnot uh, with the, the versatile-ness uh, there. It'll fit different sizes of phones really easy with the stretch. And then the Loom Cube is just absolutely insane. It gets super bright and is a great, great tool to have in your kit. And coming up at number nine is selfie sticks, right? And so, especially if you're traveling and you're on the road and it's just you and maybe somebody else and you wanna take some uh, you know, cool photos, selfie sticks are a great way to go. This tech savvy one is pretty cool. I've had this for a while, uh, it's great. And it has a built-in Bluetooth remote, which is nice if you're charged up, really easy to pair your device with the Bluetooth remote so you can activate the shutter uh, when you're on the road. The other one that I like is actually called the iPole. And it doesn't have a built-in um, shutter, but what I like to use is actually this selfie stick because I also use it for like point and shoot cameras, get creative angles with uh, G7X and things like that. Uh, it's really nice and well built, the iPole. And then uh, in combination with this Bluetooth shutter remote. And so I have a whole video uh, about this on how to Snapchat with no hands. This is just a cool remote that you can activate and basically you know, hold down your shutter button just like you would to record Instagram stories or Snapchat. And this guy is only like $7 US. And so you could easily use these in combination. You can use you know, this one as well. And uh, both of these you know, run super affordable. I think this one's, uh, there's actually, the one I would recommend is there's a $7 one that is a little bit better than this on uh, Amazon. And so again, I'll put a complete list to break down uh, item by item, all of these things. But super killer if you wanna have that selfie stick in your kit. 
And the 10th must have smartphone accessory is some headphones. And a lot of people don't necessarily like the headphones that come with your smartphone, if any do. And so my go-to favorites lately have actually been these running headphones from Aki. Uh, they have a built-in pedometer, I haven't even used it. Uh, but I found that, um, I've tested a lot of Bluetooth headphones over this past year, and I found that some of them could be partial, you know, the last thing that you want to have happen is you're working out or you're running and it starts being like a sketchy connection and it's going in and out, um, or you want, if the battery dies fast, all those things. And so these, as far as how affordable they are, I think uh, right around $30, stay connected, have a good fit uh, for being really active, sound good, they get nice and loud, and so those are um, some killer headphones. And then the other ones that I like are just the Bose SoundTrue, probably my favorite headphones of all time, um, and I think Bose Sound Links are the ones that are um, Bluetooth, if you don't have a headphone jack or you don't want to use the wire. But I'm kind of old-fashioned, you could say, and I like having the wire. These are probably my favorite all-around headphones of all time, for comfort, for how good they sound, for how dependable they are, for just how clean everything is, the Bose Sound Trues. And you can shop these around. I think you can a lot of times get them like open box on Amazon. Sometimes I think they're valued at like over $200, but a lot of times you could get them for about $130 US uh, for those. And uh, the Sound Links are maybe, um, you know, uh, right around $200 as well. And, and Bose, sometimes people say it's overpriced, but the quality is definitely there. Um, and headphones are a big preference thing as well, but definitely an essential smartphone accessory. Question of the day, what smartphone accessories do you think are essential? Post that in the comments below. And remember, some of the best comments and recommendations come from you, the Think Media TV community. So definitely connect with everybody in the comments section. So thanks so much for checking out this video. Definitely subscribe for more videos just like this. And if you haven't downloaded the Smartphone Video Gear Buyer's Guide, it's actually a PDF guide that I put together with all of my uh, best recommendations for actually doing photo and video on your smartphone. So you can download that for free. We'll link it up in the YouTube description below as well as on the YouTube card. Until next time, Think Media TV is helping you go further, faster in media. Keep crushing it and we will talk soon. Oh, it's got a light on it. Get one of these, get that, and you're good to go. Peace.